In 2013, only 36% of Washington youth in foster care graduated from high school. And two thirds of foster youth are people of color. They experience so many different potential setbacks. And as a result, these youth fall behind on every single academic level. Treehouse is solving for a really unique problem set. It really focuses on what is it that that youth needs. Things like support systems, such as foster parents. Maybe they need social workers, teachers, or school counselors. So working to make sure that each of their needs are really specifically addressed is something that could make or break their high school experience. They have a really comprehensive strategy. And I think whenever you're in a nonprofit and you're looking to have a real sustainability model, being able to have a comprehensive strategy that you can implement along with much of what they were doing around policy changes, that's the reason why I thought this organization was really worthy of my vote. One of the things I love about the Treehouse model is that it really focuses on the entire system's approach to change from the individual, to the local, to the state, to the national. The systemic approach is something that really sets Treehouse apart. In order for an organization to really make the impact, they have to have a significant outcomes management process. I was very impressed with what Treehouse had put together. The Treehouse model is something that really shows youth, and particularly disadvantaged youth, that they can experience both success at school, but also have a solid plan for their future. Treehouse is really focused on graduating success. Just in 2020, they had risen their graduation rates 50%, which I thought was extremely impressive. They're hoping to move those numbers up to 90% by 2027. And based on what I've read, along with their theory of change, I really think that's possible. Not only are they showing what impact can look like, but they're also putting together a roadmap so that others can take it to scale in their communities. And then being able to tell that story is ultimately the roadmap for all of us to make systemic change.